tell you the story about this lamp is Her Royal Highness Princess Abzita Jigma from Burkina Faso. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Thank you very much. Can I take it so I leave it to you? Do I leave it here? It's true. <laughs> I know it lasts for five hours, so it's safe. Yeah, but... <laughs> so, the beauty of light. Really, how light can change your life. And light, light really changed my life because without light, there is no study. I was studying with a kerosene lamp who even spoiled my lungs. And I'm an engineer by profession. I say to myself, something needs to be done. And then I designed that solar lamp with uh, big industries. And I'm running that. It's really something so important that you can't imagine. That's, that has been my life from the early age till seven years old, before I got sent to, uh, to Europe to make my study. It was tough times also. Seven kilometers to go and seven kilometers back. But I was happy to go to school because I was lucky and very happy. And the parents also, and I thank my parents today to be so aware and give me such a lo much love that they sent me to school. It's made a lot of difference. If you educate a girl, you educate the all humanity. So look at you, the beauty of solidarity. In this room, that is the beauty of solidarity. Because we find a platform has a human being, we are all human-centered, and that is very important. I've seen all, with the, all the presentations here, people being Climate-centered, that's very important. Human-centered is very important. Then you will never get lost. From my, I will share a quote from my mother tongue with you. It says, go where people need you. Don't go where you want to be. We are all together here because we got invited, and that's good. And we all here have fun. Even if some had some difficulties, it doesn't matter, we all brothers and sisters here, and that's the most important. So I will show you a little bit what is the impact of light. That is the most important. Then students can do their, their homework. A little girl can uh, make her a business. And you know the, uh, this picture on the, on the bottom right, those two boys, I asked them last time, three weeks ago, what would you like more? They have one lamp that they can make their homework together. No, I don't need more. Do you don't, you don't want one more lamp? No, no, one is enough. Because they didn't have light at all from zero to something who will really empower them. It's huge. And the grandma, for us, going to toilet at night is something very simple and natural. When you're old, so you need to go, they need to go on their knee to don't fall and, and break their hip. Those are the issues that we have to face. But still, we are happy people. That's the most important. And here, you see, myself, I'm always somebody going on stage. Today, I'm in uh, high heels. With the, with the dress, but it's not the case always. But I like also to be female. <laughs> yeah, nice. We can be ingenious and be female. So here, this is a, a great um, act of love, I might say, from the youth. We're learning from our children. This is a gift from Sentient Lyceum of Den Bosch, where my last daughter, who's, I have four kids, by the way, and the last one turning 18 in September. And this one's her, her uh, class in Sentient Lyceum. Then they, I always bring my kids to the, to the countryside to make them know where I'm coming from and be proud of their values. And I'm very proud that my little daughter, she convinced her other friends, and the parents as well, they're very good marketers, I never, and they're really pushing a lot, that for Christmas they decided to offer 
to go and make cakes. The mothers make cakes. By the way, many thanks to all the mothers and the fathers okay, who, who helped to collect. And afterward, I, we, I was able to, uh, to, give, uh, to bring the lamps there. And you will see our teachers. You see the, the, the teacher, she has her baby. She gives the lessons, and when it's time to feed the baby, she just feed the baby. <laughs> and we're happy with it, and it's cool. <laughs> then the baby is healthy, and, and life continues. Of course, uh, one of the things that I've done is, uh, I'm just, has, I launched what I call the Initiative Mama Life for Sustainable Energy. That is uh, before the Sustainable Development Goals for, uh, uh, for Energy, what is coming known on Sea for All, Sustainable Energy for All. And within his turn in Burkina Faso, the Secretary General Ban Ki-moon have seen what I've done. And he invited me to be part of the Private Sector Advisory Board. Uh, and I'm the focal point on energy. That's what I'm doing. And also, what we... And one of the, going back to the last picture in St. Jens Lyceum, one of the boys told me, it's not just a light. Mama, light is not just a light. Because he understands himself the impact of light. Here we have the luxury to say that our sky is polluted by, by light. But for me, it's not the case. I, just, I'm, I used to say that I'm sleeping on the 1,000 star. That's good. And what is important also, my sisters, is to know that um, when you give the means to the people, then they can empower themselves. That's the most important. We're not looking for charity. We want to be part of the value chain. And we, we're people who like to share. Everybody's welcome in my continent. And I'm there to help you. We are one human being. And that's in, in my fight, I'm fighting, I'm advocating for all of us. And you know, maybe you, you, some of you know that already, in Burkina Faso, we were the first one claiming for women's rights worldwide. We created, <laughs> yes, from a developing country. We created the union of Burkina Faso women. And our president, unfortunately, he got killed was advocating, was championing for, for ladies, and that's very important. Then you see that developing country, least developing country, where I'm coming from, we also have ideas who can empower the world. And I'm training, of course, youth and women. I have a school, what we call, the, in the, the, a program, what I call Mamas for Mamas then the ladies can train also others, as I'm engineer they see, then also women can be in the techniques, and that is very important. And if you bring technology without explaining how to install, how to maintain, how to be sustainable, because we're talking about the climate change, it's very important that our kids, they got born uh, climate sensitive, that's very important. And I think that is the, uh, the message for all of our kids that we have home, that to aid, it's our role. And mothers, we always lighting the life. Our mothers light our lives. That's what I call mama light, how simple like that, because mothers always lighting our life. And you know, so I'm very happy to be here with all of you, and you're all invited on the campsite of Combisri to see uh, what I'm doing, and uh, remember, go where we need you and not where you want to go to. You're welcome. I want you. And I have a lot of love for you, so come. Come to me. Come. That's what I want. And I thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.